we're going to take a good close look at the Amager 4. Do you mean them hot chicks that whisper into the microphone in your ear? No, I mean this knife done by Demco Knives. So let's turn this around and take a look at it from above. All right, guys, I definitely dig this knife. This is the Amager 4. You can see I used it a lot. I have scuffed up the finish on this. This is a Demco fixed blade done in ADCR V2 steel. Now, I am really liking this. This is a boot knife style fixed blade that is set for belt carry. I This has got a very military, almost tactical feel. And I know a lot of people are like, well, define a tactical knife. There really is no actual definition for tactical knife. It's just, an, it's the way it portrays itself. But this has got that boot knife style to it that I really, really like. The blade profile is great and it comes with an amazing sheath. So let's talk about this for a little bit because there's there's not a lot to really look at on a fixed blade, but you are looking at a full tang dagger, almost bayonet style blade with a fully sharpened swedge on this. So you get that super piercing tip on this. The ADCRV is super, super bitey when you sharpen it down. I've done this on a, that thousand grit uh, that thousand grit Shapton that I did a video about that I got on the recommendation from, uh, from outdoors 55. It has performed really well. This is not a super slicey knife because as you can see, this is more of your dagger style blade where you've got a thicker behind the edge, but it did cut well because it does take a very toothy edge. Grind on this is great. The coating on this is great handles. These handles are done in a rubberized coating that has been textured. You can see that isn't that isn't like a, a layered rubber that is stamped in and it's it is very grippy. It sticks to your hand. It's not sticky, but it feels very secure in hand. It does not feel slippery. I tried using this with wet hands. I tried a bunch of different things and it absolutely stays grippy. Nice thing about this as well, you have got these ridges that are in the blade, so you do have a way to index. Because if you look at this from the spine, you have no way of knowing which side of the blade is the full edge and which side is just the swedge. So while this is also there for grip, it definitely indexes, it lets you know. And if you're in the dark, you can also reach up here and feel that on the spine. The tang has been exposed if you want to use this like a glass breaker or an impact weapon if you're using this in a tactical or fighting scenario because this is more of a military style knife. Now, the sheath on this is a great, great sheath. It's done in materials that will not screw up your edge. Cold steel for years, Demco designed for cold steel. Cold steel for years has used a material they call Securex, which has got fiberglass in it. And that means that as you draw that knife, it dulls. This will not dull your edge. Another cool thing, completely ambidextrous. And it has got a huge weep hole in here that runs out. Now, if you look, this sheath definitely looks like it is a two-piece sheath. And that's because if you look at the image I'm showing you right now, you can completely take this sheath apart. You can take this, you can take it completely apart and you can remove this piece, remove all these pieces, take it apart, dry it out, so you don't have to worry about your sheath having water in it, you know, if you are in a wet environment. The retention on the sheath is good enough that you don't necessarily have to use this strap. I would recommend if you're gonna carry this, maybe if you're out, if you do happen to carry this and you're hunting, I don't know why you would carry this, absolutely use this because it doesn't rattle and jingle, not the most tactical thing ever. Um, and the other thing about this is you can completely remove this piece off of the sheath if you want, and it doesn't, it doesn't affect the hardware. And then you could just lash this sans the strap to your Molly gear, which like I said, retention on this is really good. I could see if you're carrying it vertical on your Molly gear, you might not necessarily need this top strap. Now, there are a couple things I don't like about this, and I'm gonna explain them right after you guys hear from this video sponsor. Guys, nothing sucks worse than breaking a set of shoelaces. I mean, that's why when I was in the military, I always kept multiple sets of shoelaces in my locker, because if you break one, you gotta replace them. Well, there's an option. 
There is a company called Tempered Trail that is offering almost indestructible laces at affordable prices. You can see they have a wide selection scrolling up here. Huge selection of colors and types that you can look at and pick. You pick your length, you pick your color style. Go check them out. My buddy Nathan has been has been kind enough to offer you guys a discount when you check out with my coupon code Crazy Sharp or with the link down below in the description. So thanks for sponsoring us, Nathan. He's a great guy. Let's turn this around and get back to the knives. We don't need the sheath because there's nothing I dislike about that sheath. That sheath is amazing. Um, the biggest thing, this is this is a very robust, very thick knife. I really wish, I know that it's not what it was meant for, but I really wish they had done hollows. I wish they had done a hollow grind on this to make this a little bit more slicey. You don't, you're not going to be doing a lot of cutting with this. And I know that that's not what this knife was meant for, but I really want every knife to cut well. I wish that it had a thinner behind the edge profile. Next thing, there is a bit of a hiccup in the grind. You can see it here. So from side to side, I do know dagger grinds are hard. So this one is perfect. It marries right up with the point. This one, you can see you get a bit of weirdness at the very tip where your tip is off because this center line, the center ridge is off. You can definitely see clearly that it's off a little bit, which means that you get a weirdness in the edge that it was, I had to do a lot of weird sharpening correction on this. Next thing, the coating on it is really resilient because I did a lot of cutting and it just only shined up. I didn't have any of it start to cut loose and, and tear off. And you can see there's some deep gouges in it, but it didn't give up. But it adds a lot of friction when you're cutting. Uh, these coatings like this that are really, you can hear it. it it's like, it, it's a very, it's a very coarse coating that's on this it definitely makes it harder to cut with, it adds a lot of friction. Uh, and then the final thing that I will say, well, two more things, one more thing, two more things. This uh, this sharpening tool needed to be a little bit bigger. Uh, it, it definitely is really close. You can see I was slamming into the stones with the rubber when I was sharpening it. I'm probably gonna open that up and make that choil a little bit bigger just because I don't want to, you know, I don't wanna be slamming into this and then tear up that rubber and then you've got a spot there where the rubber's all screwed up. And the final thing, this is gonna sound weird and out of character for me, but on something like this, you may want a larger, you may want a larger lanyard hole because some of the cordage that people use to make their lanyards, that might not be adequate, especially on a fixed blade. You want a, on a fixed blade, something like this, you want a big beefy lanyard and you might not be able to get the material through that hole because I mean, it's a relatively large hole, but it definitely could have been bigger. Other than that, the knife is great. The design is great. The sheath is incredible. I love the fact that it's completely ambidextrous and you can completely disassemble it to clean it. I, there's just so many options with this sheath and it's just, it's an attractive sheath. The Demco brand, I, I'm digging it. I love the fact that they're offering a wide selection of stuff. So let's turn us around. We'll do some final thoughts and I'll send you out about your day, probably with no further interruptions from PDM. Yeah, guys, I have really enjoyed carrying this knife. The 80 CR V2 steel on all the knives I've had so far has done really, really well. Takes a nice keen edge. I absolutely dig carrying this. It is a nice little knife. I, they they really, really did a good job over there at Demco Knives. So there you go, guys. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, well, I'm gesticulating wildly with a sharp object. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. But please try to tell me why. I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. If you want to support the channel, sponsors down below. You know you saw an ad. Coffee Brand Coffee Temper Trail have a discount built in their link, but you can also use coupon code Crazy Sharp, all one word, all lowercase. You can use that to save 10% at either one of those, 40% at Beyond EDC through the end of the year, and it may go up from there. You can also use that code at Rosecraft Blades and Ferrum Forge Knifeworks. Those both save you 10% there. I've got vendors down below. Those links pay me a little bit of money when you purchase something. If you can buy knives, please use those vendors. It doesn't cost you anything extra at checkout. 
It's the same with my Amazon store. Take that link, pin it to your browser, use it for any Amazon shopping you're gonna do. Definitely helps out. I have a public Discord that I've built for everyone. There's a link to that down below. And I have a membership for this channel that has a tier-based set of benefits. Check them out, but I do exclusive content. There is a private Discord. I do giveaways and I have a premium tier sharpening tutorial series. So guys, that's the end of it on this one. I love you all. Keep it clean in the comment section. It's your birthday. Happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.